Dr. Cook back again with just a short video to talk about control measures that you can use on your operations overlay. All right, so we use our control measures uh, to tell our troops how we want them to do things. And uh, one of those things is direct fires, right? So how do we control direct fires? How do we control that use of violence on the battlefield to put it where we need it in the right way? Now we've got a table here from uh, our FM that'll tell us about that. And we can break these down into forms that are terrain-based fire control measures. And then we have things that are threat-based fire control measures. Okay, so terrain tied to the physical geography and threat-based tied to what are our concerns with the actual enemy. All right, so you can see some of them here where we're talking about uh, terrain, things like a target reference point on the physical ground, engagement areas where we've drawn those out as a space, all right, our sectors of fire that we give to our troops, direction of fire, terrain-based quadrants, friendly-based quadrants, all right, those are all uh, terrain-based fire control measures that we can use. And then on the threat side, you have your ROE, right, so what is the enemy doing determines whether or not we're going to engage them, right, things like that. Uh, what is our weapons posture that we're using and our weapons control status, right? So weapons control status might be something like weapons free. Like if you can't identify that it's friendly, you better shoot that thing down, all right? Versus something like uh, a weapons tight or a weapons hold. Um, maybe you only want your soldiers to shoot back after they've been fired upon, right? So those would be different weapons control statuses. Um, engagement priorities is a way to control things, right? So you might uh, tell them that, hey, you know, I want you to focus your fire on that engineering asset on the enemy side first, right? Let the infantry, I don't care about them, focus on the engineers that are out there, right? Because that's a special capability. Or maybe you need to focus on uh, aircraft or whatever it is that you want to give them as a priority. And maybe that's different by weapon, all right? Maybe you need your machine guns to be focused on, you know, groups of soldiers larger than 10 and then vehicles and then worry about single individuals, something like that. Maybe your riflemen have a different set of priorities from the machine gunners. All right, what is the trigger for us to um, open fire? Right? And then what kind of techniques are you going to use, especially for your uh, machine gunners, trying to give them how you want to control their rate of fire uh, so that we can make sure we get through the mission. Now, we also have control measures tied to our movement. Where are we going to be on the ground? All right. Um, and so we can help our soldiers be in the right spot that we want them to be at the right time. Uh, so this all comes in with our overlays. So one is just the area of operations. So we give people a left and right boundary. All right? That helps us control where they move. We can have phase lines. That controls uh, the timing or at least tells them where they should be during which portions of a mission. All right. You can use assembly areas, checkpoints, assault positions to show them exactly where you want them to go as that last covered and concealed position before hitting the objective. All right, we have a limit of advance. How far are you going to attack to? Don't go beyond that. All right? uh, objective locations that we show them so they know where they're going. And then uh, you can have times to initiate things tied to all of this. Right? So these are how we can control our movement on the physical terrain and make sure people are in the right spot at the right times. So how do we do all this? Well, you've got this whole kit bag of graphics, all right? They come right out of Doctrine and can tell us how to draw these things um, and put them on there. So that's why it's important that you know not only how to read these graphics, how to draw them, how to use the right one, because other people are going to read it and they need to be able to interpret it the way that you meant. All right, so that's a brief overview on control measures. Uh, make sure you're paying attention to those, using them, um, and have a great day.